Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with Folklore. Last time we beat uh, the Folklore in the Endless Corridor and broke into Levain's secret base under the Henge uh, where she explained that um, she broke the Netherworld because she wanted people to fear death uh, because apparently believing in an afterlife means they're not going to fear death anymore. And if they fear death, then they'll try harder to enjoy their life. Um, which I guess makes sense, but I don't know. It's definitely some uh, philosophical conversation going on. <laughs> not really sure what side is the right side anymore, but honestly, I'm just here to find out about my past. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go to end this chapter, so we're going to figure that out right now. Hopefully, uh, maybe I have to go back to the church? Or the bar? Hmm. The last place we were in was the clinic, so let's check there. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Hello, people. I'm Cecilia. There's been a lot of uh, info dumping recently. Like, it seems like the whole first part of this game, nobody wanted to tell us anything. And now all of a sudden, <laughs> we're just learning everything. Ellen is Cecilia. What the whole crazy folk battle is over. Or netherworld battle. Couldn't they have just told us this stuff uh, from the get-go so we know exactly what's happening? I mean, come on! <laughs> hey, barkeep. What's up? That poor scholar. I imagine he must be very pure of heart. Oh, that's right. He kept searching the village, but never found what he was looking for. Dude, that's right. We're supposed to tell him how to open the henge so that we can, uh... <laughs> hopefully save his friend. I completely forgot. O'Connell! Dude! I have a solution for you. Lulu could be beneath the henge, and I've discovered how to get in. What? So we can now search for Lulu? Yes. We shall go to the henge at night. I couldn't find Lulu in the netherworld. Perhaps she is trapped inside. Yeah, so let's uh, wait till nighttime. I'm sure she could survive a few more hours. <laughs> what could Lulu possibly have wanted from these ruins? As far as I could tell, she was as happy as could be. She had a stunning intellect, good looks, no lack of friends. Why did she go away from me? What are you talking about? Maybe she just wanted to investigate. The Henge, man. She wasn't, like, running away from her life. She must be alive. Let's go, O'Connell. Oh, he thinks she's dead. That's what it is. Alright. All right, dude, you ready? Unbelievable! Lulu must have known about this when she went inside. Uh huh. Musta. She had a medallion, or she she dropped the medallion. Uh, yeah, out there by the hench. There. But she didn't have a silver one. Oh, Lulu. 
Lucy! That doesn't look like Lucy. This is where I donned the cloak. Hmm. Someone has been here. Quite recently, in fact. What's this? An earring? But it was just a mummy and a cloak. Let me see that. My god, no. <laughs> This is her earring. It all makes sense. The mummy that you saw was Lulu. Uh... What? But you said she'd been gone only for only a week. You... You told me that she was alive. Well, you told me she'd only been gone a week. <laughs> Truth is, she disappeared half a year ago. I knew it. Half a year ago? Is that long enough for someone to turn mummy? Ugh. Gross. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't face the truth. It always felt... Like just the week before. O'Connell. I can't believe this. Why did I allow you to ever give me hope? I don't deserve to go on living. Oh great. I know who's getting murdered next. Okay, so... Yeah, that was just ridiculous. <laughs> She's been gone for half a year, and he couldn't accept it, and just thought she was gone a week for all this time. Oh my god. Suzette, have you seen O'Connell? That scholar? I saw him sort of wandering around in a daze. He was heading for the Cliff of Stee. Do you think he's alright? Uh-oh. Nope. The Cliff? I suppose everyone knew that O'Connell's girlfriend was probably dead. It was just that no one could bear to shatter his hopes that she had gone missing only the week before and would return. He needed someone to help him face reality, to tell him the truth. Are, are you serious? The whole village knew and they... Uh, nobody told him. <laughs> O'Connell, don't you dare! You mustn't make any rash decisions. <laughs> decisions. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No, it is I who should be apologizing. I'm sorry I said all of that. I didn't mean to worry you. I was not myself. I should have never blamed you. After all the effort you made for me. Death is a part of life. There's no way around it. In Lulu's case, I just could not bring myself to accept it. The purpose of the priestesses of yore was not to commune with the dead, but to assist people in accepting death itself. You told me what I needed to hear. In order to overcome my predicament, I first needed to face the depths of my despair. Perhaps they were a mirror of the depth of my love for her. I still have little idea of what to do. Someday I will achieve closure and get back on my feet again. Well, you better walk away from that cliff first. That'd be a good first step. Just don't go the wrong way. <laughs> You've helped me. I'd like to repay you. I think it's fair to say that you are disturbed. <laughs> Thank you for that awesome insult. I appreciate it. You do realize what this all means, don't you? These trips to the netherworld and such? Wait, don't say another word. Sometimes I don't know what's happening. You once lived in this village. 
That's why you have memories of the dead. There's some something I would like to try. It should shed light upon your lost memories. Ooh! Okay. Let's do it. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. <laughs> Shoot. We were that close to getting some some info, man. That close. Alright, well. We're going to be starting Chapter 5 with Mr. Keats here. Dr. Lester is dead, and Herb has appeared in the netherworld. Uh, and who could this girl Cecilia be? I wonder. What does that mean, Herb has appeared in the netherworld? We, we already know, knew he was in there. What? Labyrinth. So Dr. Lester died before I could hear what I, what I wanted. Unless there's someone else who knows anything, I'm out of luck. Don't worry. O'Connell knows stuff. What's this? It's a letter. The time has come for me to tell you everything. I'll be waiting for you, Harriet. Oh. Harriet? So she's finally decided to talk, eh? Oh, thank God. That thought she just got murdered without telling anyone anything. Maybe I didn't play as Keats. Hmm. Fancy that. <laughs> this is all new to me now. I haven't practiced this. Hello, Harriet. Hello, Harriet. Finally ready to talk? I'm all ears and a coat. Even the dead refuse to speak of Samhain and the incident that haunts them to this day. And now the truth. <laughs> Already dead. What do you know? God dang it. <laughs> dead. Damn. Strangle. Carried out with ordinary string. Could be anyone. Or anything. What ungodly timing. Perhaps she sensed danger and called me. Harriet and Dr. Lester are dead. Every person with direct knowledge is gone. I must inform the villagers. Let's see how they react. He's so morbid, man. Yeah, I'm guessing uh, whoever strangled her was the one that left the note. Oh. My, my god! How could this... Has the hag struck again? Just who is this hag? It's not any one of us gathered here. Would she hide in the church? Beneath the henge? Impossible. No one can get beneath the henge. I imagine that there is a way. The church is safe. I saw for myself. Then why not gather in the church? It's better than being alone. Sounds like a good idea. This calls for an interview with the dead. Anyone seen a memento of Harriet's? <laughs> Any, anyone mind if I just take a few items? Just, uh, you know, private collection. Swear I'm an investigator. I swear. I swear it. The body has already been taken away. Why stay here? What are you looking for? She was very interested in the henge, too. What's this? This thing looks really old. The, oh, there's the brass medallion. What? What is it? A burial artifact of the forebears. They say it was used to give one's own life to a high-ranking priestess. 
Talk about working yourself to death for your boss. But it looks like it's made out of brass. They used brass about 500 years ago, didn't they? Are you sure it isn't a fake? Quite the scholar, aren't you? This isn't the only oddity I've discovered. We find things like this in ancient ruins from time to time. Anachronisms galore. Anachronisms. <laughs> okay. Well, enough storytelling for now. So what are we going to do next? I'll take that. I have an idea as to how to use it. Sure you do. So is that why the brass medallion was in the henge? I thought Lulu left it. Or, I guess not. This medallion is probably Harriet's memento. Yeah, actually that makes more sense. Because if she disappeared a half a year ago... Yeah, she definitely didn't disappear a week ago. <laughs> so, I guess it makes more sense. Alright, let's go. Show me the spotlight again. How can I stop this aging? I don't understand. Neither do I. fortune while disregarding death. Uh, what? <laughs> Why did he say that? Okay, here we are. What is this place? This is the Endless Corridor. The Netherworld was created by absorbing living people's thoughts on death. The Endless Corridor here is made from those notions of modern people. What is death? What happens after death? There are questions of the living that cannot be answered. The endless corridor here was born of s from such questions. And this place has become our home base. You really are talking more than you usually do. Anyway, I'm off to see Harriet. Please be careful. The endless corridor is different from other realms. Oh, no joke. No joke. Only you can solve things. We don't know where Levain is. Ellen and the others won't find her easily. You guys don't even know where she is? Oh, it's probably the same one I just talked to. For decades, Levain and Belgay used this place as a base while they traveled the Netherworld. But it's too dangerous now. Ellen is too strong. Uh. Okay. Beyond this point is not just any old maze, but don't worry, someone knows a shortcut. The hint is a clock. The keeper of time always knows the way out. Yep. And he likes to play games too. Clock games. Tick tock clock games. Tick tock. Alright, I'm gonna save. <laughs>
flesh rum. That's the name of that folklore flesh rum. Because it's made of flesh and it's a room. It's a flesh rum. Yeah. Yeah. How did I forget? How did I forget that? I don't know. Anywho, uh, I guess I'm going to end it here, guys. Before we start off uh, the endless corridor. Ooh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't know how much harder this is going to be. <laughs> it may not be much harder at all. It might be exactly the same. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, anywho, see you guys later.